Welcome to Appalachia Sessions. I'm Nan Kelly, and I am so tickled to be here with friends. I told um, our producer, Tom, who's working the camera behind the scenes there, I said, Tom, we might be talking a long time on this one. I love these people. You're going to love these folks. Darren and Brooke Aldridge are with me right now. Hi, friends. Hi. How so are y'all? We We're are great. doing great. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Some of the nicest people uh, in the world. And you. I always talk about triple threats. And I call y'all a triple threat. You know, a triple threat is someone who sings, acts, and dances, like on Broadway. But these guys are triple threats because they're amazing instrumentalists, great singers, and wonderful songwriters, and they happen to be nice people. So they're <laughs> quadruple threats. What, I know your background a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but you were a school teacher in the, in the system, right? In the I schools? Was. Yeah, I did that for 10 years in North Carolina, and uh, I, I loved every minute of it. But we, with us being musicians too, that was really my first passion. And so I, I let the teaching thing go. Um, but I still try to go back and visit. Sometimes we'll do school programs um, through the school system that I worked for still, and we'll go in and do Christmas programs because a lot of those kids have never heard some of the old traditional Christmas songs. Oh. You would be so surprised. Yeah. And uh, so that was so much fun and still is getting to do that. So they started that with me a long time ago when I first started working there and they found out that we had a band and we played and we sang. So. Not only do they have a band, I mean, this young lady, she's, she won't brag on herself, but I will. <laughs> she is a four-time consecutive IBMA, which is the International Bluegrass Music Association, Association. Uh -huh. Female Vocalist of the Year. <laughs> and Darren here was uh, is a former Mentor of the Year for the IBMA. Mm -hmm. So. You are with some great royalty here this today. Mentor of the year. You still mentor young kids. You still are teaching young kids to play, right? I still do. I've been teaching over 20 years now. Wow. And I teach a lot in our hometown there, Cherryville in Shelby, North Carolina. The Earl Scruggs Center is there now. That's and great. we have all kind of field trips come in and classes. So I do group classes, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one I've done, like I said, for over 20 years. So I was just so thankful to to get nominated and then win Mentor of the Year by the IBMA. Can you recall, without naming names, can you recall a student through through your time in the school system mm -hmm. where you knew you made a difference in their life? Oh, goodness, let's see. There were so many, actually. Um, Good. Yeah, and I'm not really, I can't pinpoint one probably, but uh, I think every day I came home with a story about a child that I wanted to bring home, you know, yeah. and just embrace them and let them experience, you know, a different kind of life because sometimes their life in their home is not always the greatest thing and right. when they she come to school. She told me that one time. Yes, sometimes really smile special. and be so good to a kid that's the only sunshine they'll get maybe yeah. that day. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have somebody that you feel like or that you're working with now that you know that you've made a difference? Well I've had a lot of great students come through and, and learn to play very well and um, some that I've brought along with us to shows. Other ones that showed up like at East Tennessee State University and now they're in a band themselves or leading their bands mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And that's made me feel really special. I mean, the first time I heard some of the young kids that I taught when I was like 12 or 13, they were. And then in high school, I heard them playing their first bands. Like, man, they're really good, you know? Mm -hmm. And then now they've got a uh, number one song out there on Bluegrass Radio. That's great. So, How about in your young lives, mm -hmm. teachers that may have influenced you or people that have inspired you oh, yeah. to, to press forward and to go down this path? Brooke, do you have somebody in mind? Yeah, my fifth grade teacher, her name was Bonita Taylor, and uh, she loved to sing. She incorporated music a lot um, because she was the pianist at her church. And uh, actually her sister and uh, her husband were my pastor and wife, wife, his wife at the church where I attended as a kid. And for 42 years, he was a preacher there. But Bonita, like I said, she just incorporated music all of the time. I think she taught us, um, let's see, let's see, we the people in order to form a more perfect, perfect union, union. establish justice and <laughs> That's right. domestic Tranquility. That's right. She taught us that through song, and I wow. never forgot it. Oh, so. <laughs> she taught you that through song. Yes. That's incredible. Yes. What about it in your life? My band Darren? director in junior high and high school It's like a drill sergeant, and uh, it was so good. He knew I was good and could listen by ear, you know, but he taught me really the theory and how to read music and was real hard on me. And I still say things that he said to our band mm -hmm. all the time now. His name is Michael Rogers. And all those things come up through our daily lives and our band career that I thank him for instilling in me in that for a long time. But one of my biggest influences, as you probably know, is Vince Gill and getting to meet him 
and it was a big thing for me. I remember I was about 14 years old, saw him on the Opry for the first time, and I knew then that's what I wanted to do, was really? to be like him and, and grow up, and he's become a friend and a mentor to me, and you know, it's amazing. I just thank the good Lord for that. And he's such a such a pal these days. So he is. He's a good friend to a lot of people. Yeah. The jam session that you would have with him or yeah, you have had we, with him, yeah, no doubt. We've sung a few together. <laughs> I bet you have. <laughs> Speaking of singing, uh, we're gonna hear some Christmas music today. And these guys have a brand new Christmas album that just came out in November. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your new record. Because I haven't had a chance to hear it yet. Yeah, we're so excited for you to hear it. Um, this album's called Hometown Holiday, and, and Darren and I have been doing a, a Christmas show in our hometown now for probably a decade or yeah. more, um, which is crazy to think. And everybody says, when are you have a Christmas record? Yes, exactly. When are you going to have one? <laughs> so we, we compiled a bunch of songs that, you know, some are traditional uh, classic Christmas songs that everybody knows. Um, there's a few on there that maybe yeah. some people haven't yeah. heard before, but um, we've got a the kids song on there mm -hmm. must be saying this so there's it's a good variety i think that's going to appeal to a lot of different ages so. what's your favorite song on the album or what's your favorite christmas song period <laughs> oh, oh, wow. one that we're going to do today i always thought that brooke would sing it so good and, <laughs> and, and she right. does uh, it's called merry christmas darling with the carpenters oh, yeah. Claire and karen carpenter and oh, it yeah. just fits her song. voice to a t well there's so many of them we did river uh, a bunch mentioned? of different things mm -hmm. and i just love to hear my wife sing you know <laughs> See, that is good. He's that a little is, partial. That is a good stuff. <laughs> well, how do you, one more question. How do you make it work to work with your spouse, to live with your spouse? You're on the road constantly. Mm -hmm. What is the secret? I think that mutual respect for each other. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, he's been in the business for a long time, a lot longer than when I came along. I like to say Darren discovered me <laughs> to, to bring me on out in, this, in the music world anyway. Um, my parents first believed in me in, in a community that I grew up in. But, you know, we just have such a respect for each other in the areas that he's weak in. I'm strong in and vice versa. So I, I think that really yeah. is a good trade off. <laughs> Dynamic duo. Yeah, I, you said it best. Love <laughs> these guys. You're going to love them. They're going to bless your Christmas with great music. Darren and Brooke Aldridge. Love you guys. Thank, Thank you. Love you, so you too. <laughs>